Today, I am talking with Jennifer Kerfman of Untamed Creative. We did her website a couple of months ago, and she's a copywriter. So she wrote her own copy for this site, and it's super fun. And we used that as the design inspiration to really bring out her personality. So I'm excited for you guys to listen to this episode and hear about how she is super excited to have a website that represents her, but that is also much easier to use than her original WordPress website. Hi, Jennifer. Thanks for joining me today. Hello. Good afternoon. We had a previous episode of the podcast where you talked all about voice of customer research, but today we're talking about your website. So I'd love if you could just give us a really quick overview introduction to you and who you work with and what you do. Yes, I can absolutely do that. So um, I'm Jennifer. I'm the owner of Untamed Creative, and uh, that's where I do a lot of copywriting um, for websites, sales pages, um, and the like. And that has been so fun, so amazing, um, and I'm obsessed with it. I help uh, service providers and like online coaches, online business owners in general, um, who are just kind of like not a fan of blending in and they don't want to sound like everybody else. They want to have mean girls memes in their sales pages. They want to have, you know, uh, references to like the things that make them human in their copy. And um, so that's what I like to bring out in my clients' work. Awesome. So can you tell us a little bit about kind of your website journey, what you had before, mm -hmm. how you started, how all of that has progressed. Yes. I started, <laughs> um, fun fact, I used to be, I went to fashion school and I was going to be a fashion designer. That was over 10 years ago. <clears throat> and um, I realized that I shouldn't, I shouldn't be doing that because I'm not a designer. <laughs> this business I thought oh you know maybe I could do like maybe I could do the web design and I can write the co you know and I know that that ha that does work for some people um it just it didn't work for me it felt forced so um I was like I'm, I would much rather just be really good at one thing so I just threw all of my energy into um becoming the best copywriter like I could possibly be Therefore, I got a template for my website. I bought a template <clears throat> for WordPress. And uh, I, I can't tell you how many hours I spent tweaking that thing. Like, it, like I, I spent probably more time than Friends was on the air. Like, you know, <laughs> figuring out how to make this template look. It wasn't a template. And also... The, like tiny little tweaks that I wanted to make uh, it was just it was a disaster anyways I think that the time that I put into it um I don't want to say it was a waste but it was excessive and then um I was pretty happy with how it turned out like it I think it looked good I got compliments on it and I was like happy with it because it at least like got the job done <clears throat> it gave people a place to go <laughs> so that was great but if I, I just, I knew if I ever like wanted to add something to it or like when I designed the sales page for my first VIP day offer, again, that took me forever because I just was like, I, wh wh who hurt you WordPress? What are you trying to do to me? Like, it's so, it's not user friendly. So uh, that was, so that was my before, <laughs> that was my before journey I to work together. And you were like, do you want to use Squarespace? And I was like, yeah, I do. Because as an employee, I used it in my previous job. And it's just like, it's just, it's just easier. And when you don't have the skills slash energy to spend like messing with WordPress, it just, it's just the right choice. <laughs> like it just, it's just a logical choice, right? Yeah. I mean, when I started my business, I did a WordPress template and I had some experience doing website design and I still couldn't get it to do what I wanted. So I think it, some of it's just like, it's just hard to use 
And when you move over to Squarespace, it just, it makes more sense for people who don't want to be like in the back end of their website, trying to code things and figure out how to move things two pixels over. Yeah. Well, and, and you and I um, did this project, like right when Squarespace did its whole like <laughs> rebrand or whatever, it's reboot of, of um, new features and stuff. And so I was really a, that was really appealing to me because I was like, I love, um, I love the like layered look. I think it's just very cool. And, um, so it was just a really good opportunity for me to get that <laughs> and not have to like pay for show it or whatever. So yeah, I was, uh, I was into it and I still am. <laughs> <laughs> so what was the process of working with me? Like yours, I know is a little bit different because you're a copywriter. So like you wrote your yeah. own copy and you're, you didn't have to like use all of my templates and stuff, but what was the rest of the process like? Yeah, it, uh, well, <laughs> when I went to write it, this is 100% true. I fell for like two nights and I locked myself in there and I just like wrote everything for myself, which was partially a vacation for myself uh, away from my like family but um another part of it was because I just knew that I wanted it to be exactly what I wanted it to be like I didn't want to half it you know so I wrote everything um you know fairly quickly and I felt really good about that so that part was easy for me but <clears throat> the all the questions that you had me um fill out like the Pinterest um, research or, you know, whatever that I had to create was easy. You know, Pinterest is easy to use. Um, and it was also pretty fun to see like what else is out there that I like, cause I just had never really done any kind of research. I just grabbed a template I thought was cool and I, you know, tweaked it. But now um, having that opportunity to just like look at what other people are doing that are kind of in the same like energy of what I was looking for. Um, so that was really fun. And I mean, ultimately like everything was simple. It was very thorough. So I was felt very confident that like you were going to understand what I was going for because it was, it was very thorough, which um, I liked how you said, like, take the time to do this because it helped. And I, as another service provider, like I totally understand, <laughs> it totally helps to have um, as much information as possible before you even start. So, um, yeah, so I I really appreciated that and understood it. And then the, like, the day of, I was just, you know, ready for you to say, hey, take a look at this. And I, I loved how it was so easy for me to be like, okay, this is giving, you know, like, this part right here, I feel like needs X or whatever. And then you're like, done. So that was, that was really cool. Um, and I felt like very comfortable saying like, okay, what if this had more, you know, whatever. So ultimately it was wonderful. Five star would recommend, you know, it was very fun and easy on my part, which I think is what you're looking for when you, you know, are, um, hiring a service provider like it's a it's a teamwork situation it's a collaboration but at the same time you don't want to be fully stressing that like <laughs> it's not going to go the way you planned I never I never felt that way I always felt like we were on the same page so what was your favorite part of the VIP day itself well, the fact that it was done so <laughs> fast, <laughs> you know, I started the day with this weird WordPress situation. And then by the end of, you know, the weekend or whatever, it was like ready to roll. I would just say like the, the speed was the best part because I just didn't have to worry like, okay, two months later, here we are still working on this and I'm just an impatient person in general, so it worked out. <laughs> yeah, I think the longest part of the process for most people is once we connect the domain, 
like that switch over can take up to three days and like you're just mm. waiting neither of us is doing anything we're just like waiting for an email confirmation yeah. that's what that's what takes the longest and you're just kind of letting it letting it go in the background so you do have to plan for that a little bit but other than that you know everything gets done that one day I also don't have like a lot of traffic, so I didn't, it wasn't really an issue um, for me, but at least now, the thing that I like about us doing this when we did was I now have a place where when I'm ready to like start writing more content for myself, because I don't, I don't really do what I do for other people <laughs> for myself. Um, but when I do that, I have a place to put it and I don't have to worry about like, oh, is it going to be, you know, a struggle to like put this where I want it to? Like, I at least know, okay, when I'm ready to write some stuff or when I need to add a new page or when I, whatever, whatever, <clears throat> I can just do it and it's not going to be a whole thing. So have you seen any results from your new website since you launched it? I don't really look at the data or the stats. It's not really my thing, but I... I mean, of course, people have been like, oh, my God, you got your site redone. This looks great. So, I mean, besides, like, compliments, um, I haven't noticed <clears throat> any, like, specific conversions or anything like that. Um, of course, I could look and let you know. I don't <laughs> results are I just feel more at peace about this whole situation because I just know. And, and oh, I forgot to say this, too. And knowing that someone who's actually like design inclined did this for me so I didn't have to question or you know second guess myself all the time is such a relief because that's I mean like I said in the beginning that's why I didn't really offer and I don't offer any graphics or web design or anything like that because I know my limits and I'm not supposed to be doing those things so um that was a huge benefit for me just knowing like okay someone who is smart enough to do these types of things <laughs> are um like a, puts their stamp of approval on it so that that was perfect that's what I needed and I think for so many service providers like you and me and a lot of my clients we get our clients through referrals mm -hmm. they're coming they're looking at the website like that's building trust and helping them yeah. want to hire us but it's not necessarily like their first point of contact yeah, that's absolutely true. I get mostly referrals and I, uh, but like I said, I know once I start writing content for myself and like blogs, then it will <laughs> be, <Yeah>. um, <laughs> it will eventually be like a top of the funnel situation. Um, so yeah, I mean, we'll talk again in a year and I'll let you know how <laughs> it's going. <laughs> So do you, you have any advice for somebody who's going to do a VIP day with me? Because it's a little bit of a different model. So I think people aren't sure exactly what to expect. What would you tell them? I would say hire a copywriter. It doesn't <laughs> have to be me, but it can be um, somebody that you trust to, you know, get your voice and everything like that. Because it's a, that's a huge part of the project. That's just so much work um, up front. And so I just highly recommend um, anyone doing a website to at least have somebody audit what you write um, just to get a second pair of eyes on it. And then um, as far as like expectations for the process and the design and everything, take the time to fill out all of the questionnaires and do all the stuff, give you as much information up front as possible because it will pay off. Like if you front load all the stuff you're going to do for you, the designer, it just makes the rest of the process so much smoother. As far as expectations, just like be prepared to put in some work at the beginning. And then once you submit everything, you're just leaning back, like <laughs> you're just doing whatever you want to do. Um, and then you can just like, you know, move on with your life. So um, and definitely do it. It's very, it's very nice and a huge relief to know that um, you have somewhere to send people that looks legit. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming and chatting today. And I'll check back with you in a year when you're blogging and see how things go. <laughs> yeah.
Pick me up in one year. <laughs> I loved chatting with Jennifer about her website. And if you have a WordPress website that is just driving you nuts and makes you want to cry in a corner every time you have to make updates, apply for my VIP day. I've got spots open in Q1 and we can get your website launched in just a couple of days.